Oh, hang on a minute. Just make sure. Okay, good. I got it. All right. What we're going to be reading for today is an article on uh, the Christian Observer. I will leave a link to this uh, website in the description. Now, this is what people don't know about the whole mask thing that they don't want you to know. Mask wearing, wearing and satanic rituals. Now, I've already proved my point in one of the videos that I've actually um, shown before. There was one that I used, but it was a, a graded mask. It was not meant for protection of any kind of any sort. This thing was only... Uh, the only reason why they want you to wear a mask is, you know, because it signifies a state of compliance. You know, dude, I could wear that stupid thing and I could still talk through it. It, it, it doesn't matter. But you see, that don't even matter to them at all. It, it doesn't matter. As long as you're wearing it, that's what, that's what they want. So now I'm about to show you why they're so desperate for this. And look, looks like we actually have a video here too. Awesome. I think we do. Maybe we do because it is a play button there. Come on, don't sit there and send me to a whole nother. It's probably going to send me to a whole nother uh, thing. Anyway, until it changes over, let's just uh, read this. To date. I have not worn a mask, and although I've been given plenty of dirty looks, I haven't been outright called out on it. In our country, we still have the right not to wear a mask if we have a medical condition that makes our being deprived of oxygen dangerous, but isn't that all of us? And according to HIPPA, HIPAA, we have a right to uh, privacy concerning those medical conditions. So technically... When we're told we need to wear a mask to enter a store, we should be able to simply say, I can't do that. And that should be the end of it. But even if we do have a medical condition, again, don't we all? There's something even more important cons uh, to consider, and that is the occult signif significance of mask wearing, the ritual wearing of the mask. Exception from the occult ritual transformations in Corona, uh, I'm not pronouncing all that all the way. Uh, how mask wearing, hand washing, social separation, and lockdowns are age-old occult rituals being used to initiate people into a new global order. By Steve Barwick, and it seems like, uh, I don't know, can we get that darn thing to play? Because it looks like a freaking video. I don't want to just skip that if it's, you know, I don't want to just skip that if, if possible. I may have to, I might do a two-parter. I might just do a two-parter. I have this one just reading the article, and then I'll do the next one playing the video if I can find it. Um, what's more, more numerous uh, medical experts have attested to the fact that the face mask can even be dangerous to one's health and that they curtail, curtail clear thinking and even consciousness by tapping carbon dioxide in the chamber of the mass, forcing you to rebreathe it over and over, thus depleting your blood of fresh air and the life-giving oxygen components it contains. So why are the powers that be globally forcing their citizens to wear these face masks if the masks simply don't work against um, the, you know, the C virus? <laughs> It might very well be dangerous to your health. The answer might be might surprise you. Masking has traditionally played a very important role in occult rituals. Among other things, the wearing of the mask over one's mouth is a token of submission, a gesture of your willingness to be subject to others who are not your usual sovereign. But those more according to the Encyclopedia um, Brit Britannica, Mask wearing is a form of disguise, a concealment, usually worn over or in front of the face to hide the identity of a person and by its own features to establish another being. In other words, wearing of a mask represents an occult transformation, a human alchemy. If you will form one role to another from one manner of being to another. Indeed, in this case, from individual sovereign under God to collective subject under the children of the devil. You see, the masking ritual is specifically designed to reverse the order of the hierarchy, hierarchy set in place by God himself and the hierarchy of your 
Heavenly Father, you are a sovereign representative of his word on this earth. And your job is to speak his word on his sovereign behalf to others. In other words, he's the king. You're a prince of his kingdom. And your job is to carry his word to others so they too can get on board with it and return to the Father eternally through Jesus Christ as it's written regarding our primary duty as Christians. So that's what uh, Tony was talking about. I remember he mentioned something. It was like this mask where it had something to do with a demon-like entity known as Malak. Um, let's see if we can find any reference to that particular being in this article. Preach the word, be instant in session, out of session, reprove, rebuke, exhort in all long suffering and doctrine. Number two, Timothy 4.2. In short, your job is to teach your father's word and you must be ready and willing to do so at all times. Be instant in sessions and out of sessions. As such, you must always remain unmasked because your job in your earthly role as one of his faithful representatives is to speak and explain his word to others and to do so. You must open your mouth. You cannot be muzzled. You cannot be masked. Wearing the mask is a powerful occult symbol indicating your submission to another power other than the creator God who gave you the direct commission to preach his word to the world. Okay, now we got a video. Awesome. People, please spread the word about Julian this. Julian Huxley once wrote that the basic elements in cultural transmission and transformation are psychological. This is how we change. Since time immemorial, high rituals have been performed to transform reality. Ritual, a spiritual psychodrama of conscious deliberate actions taken to facilitate change. Changes to the whole of the environment people exist in, starting with the mental landscape of the people themselves. The place where our reality is first born a dream. Artist Sharon Devlin once bluntly described the true purpose of ritual as being a method to alter one's mind. It's a sacred drama in which you are the audience as well as the participant. And the purpose of it is to activate parts of the mind that are not activated by everyday activity, she said. The mechanics of change, change through mechanism, a rhythm to sink to, merge and flow with, a magnetic draw drawing one down the path toward transmutation. Rituals are vehicles driving home those ideas, the information, the data, the symbols, which upon transmission create the language by which new society members communicate after they are initiated. This new language imparts a new understanding through definitions the ritual generates, meaning pegged to signposts of its own self-referential process, even if the original purpose gets lost in the repetition of action. A ritual initiation introduces and inducts one into the way, a new way of life or worldview, a program to guide beliefs and actions, enabling the initiate to become a full and true member of the new society. Note that ritual is not always a conscious action. Not everyone partaking in a ritual is always made explicitly aware that they are participants. And yet still, new patterns of thought, of significance, are drummed in, conscious or not. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this commercial is going to use subliminal, subliminal, subliminal advertising. An initiation ritual typically involves three stages. See if any of this sounds familiar to you. Because this is going to be transformed. First, isolation for purification. The initiate is separated from the mundane, 
Did you know mundane means of the world? The initiate is largely removed from the otherwise familiar persons, places, and things one is used to in order to be cleared of them. element of this separation from one's typical environment is the suspension of the normal rules of living that one is used to. The normal way. Normality as it was before uh, will not come back. Much of the initiate's senses will be commanded and regulated at this time. In other words, the majority of what the initiate sees, hears, smells, touches, and tastes, if directly related, is deliberately controlled. These senses may be bombarded, modified, limited, or deprived. But regardless, perceptions and experiences are ultimately overseen by the high priests and priestesses directing the ritual's performance, enabling new light to shine through a newly opened window of thought. Every generation has a higher purpose. Ours. With nowhere else to go except where allowed, the insulated, isolated initiate may be forced to confront his or her own reflection and inner shadows that have been ignored or buried somewhere deep beneath the average day to day suddenly become unavoidable. Triggers detonated. Another purge. Just as they involve surrender, initiation rituals may also involve sacrifice. Both the tangible that can be held in a hand and the intangible, such as behaviors, may be given up by requirement. After all, for something to be given, something must also be taken. A token of submission, an ounce of blood, a pound of clay to be remolded. Whether dramatically overt or deceitfully subtle, the ritual reinterprets. A new definition given. Training in the form of new behaviors and knowledge, including myths and codes. Our world is filled with codes, packs, user agreements, subliminal messages. Necessary for new members to function properly in the society they are being inducted into, are all imbued at this time. Repetition is typical, as its use helps hammer the spell home. The new normal. The new normal. We have to accept the new normal. The wearing of masks may be required. Masking has traditionally played an important role in rituals of this kind. Meantime, New York City has joined Los Angeles, advising residents to cover their faces. Well, we've already seen a big jump in the number of people wearing masks. Well, uh, they've, they've announced that anybody who is flying on a plane is going to be having to wear uh, a mask. See here right behind me, about half the folks in line at this market basket right now are wearing masks. Oh. Today there was a mandate that went into effect across the entire country to wear a mask. Enabling and hastening the suppression of ego to help facilitate a death of the old identity before the identification with and manifestation of a new one. Disguised under a mask and hidden away, the initiate is more easily able to transcend the self, pushed further toward that invisible line between the physical and spiritual realms. The fear that we have, the anxiety that we have, that's not just going to go away. Trauma is another aspect of this kind of initiation, and most especially to personalize the fear of death. People are dying. Sometimes the act of dying is even ceremonially role-played. The dark beyond the darkness. The yawning abyss. 
Only after death is confronted can the initiate be symbolically resurrected, reborn anew. While the process that is playing out is quite coordinated and sophisticated in reality, it may be executed in a purposefully confusing manner. So that the goalposts seem to keep moving back and forth, up and down, here now there, rendering the initiate unable to find solid mental ground from which to make logical sense of anything. This disorientation is key. The uncertain timing generates a general anxiety, further removing the initiate from reality and leaving him or her more susceptible to a type of Pavlovian conditioning. This weakens the defenses just as a virus would, only this has the potential to break down the individual much more completely than a virus would. I know we're surrounded by uncertainty. Whatever the finer details, the previous way of life is shed like an old skin at the end. The end that comes before the beginning. The change begins. This is the second phase, the transition. It's liminal time or liminal space. The word liminal uh, literally means a threshold, that we're on a threshold of a new time, a new way of doing things in our our society, that there's going to be some transformation. As the old self symbolically dies and passes away, the initiate descends into a state of liminality, a sort of fever dream purgatory nowhere land, the void in the middle. Thus the old self dies as the initiate is purified. Now a white room, a blank canvas washed and primed and desperate for paint, a tabula rasa. At the same time his old existence and way of life dies, the initiate transcending it is gradually being processed, reprogrammed, and incorporated into his or her new environment. Because this is going to be transformative. It is going to be transformative on a personal basis, on a social basis, on a systems basis. We're never going to be the same again. Reformed, reconstituted, and rebirthed into the new world that awaits at the end of the tunnel. As a society, beyond just this immediate situation, we should start looking forward to understand how this experience is going to change us, or how it should change us. This is the final phase of the ritual, integration. And everyone wants to know, is this the new reality? Too early to say that we're looking at something closer to a reformation. We're waking up to the new normal. When do we get back to normal? I don't think we get back to normal. This is an extraordinary time where we have to accept a new normal. Society will undergo a radical transformation. And if you're feeling alone, just remember, we are alone together. sound familiar now? There you go. Eyewitnesses to Pro Francis murderous satanic rituals. Huh. Honestly, the churches are filled with a whole lot of satanic symbolism. They've already since been, um, Infiltrated by uh, occult, you know, occultists and uh, Satanists, as well as Masonic uh, Masons. Um, it says re, re complete article. Let me see. Let's go here. Let's see where we left off. I might be able to find out where it, uh, where it also oh, occult ritual transfer from Corona. 
Let's see. In previous Bible studies and commercials, I've doctor. Now I've already read that part. I need to go to where um we left off. Form of yeah, we already read that. Timothy to preach the word by instant in seasons, out of seasons reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And you see, here's the pro here's the problem though. T all TIs man, TIs who are being hit with DEWs, including myself. They uh, oof, whoa, 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 hang on, I'm just about to get off the couch there for a minute. Got to sit down on something. It's different. Okay. Okay, so the problem with this is that us TIs, man, we're laced with this um stuff, this mind techno mind manipulating technology that they got out there. It's not like I don't want to spread the information out to help people, and we've all have been doing that. But like when it comes to being a target individual, like it really is not an easy thing to do, you know? That's it's easier said than done. We do the best we can with the YouTube channels, but I mean, we already know that technically Google's one of the enemy platforms and they own YouTube, so naturally we do migrate our content from time to time. People, please, that before I read the rest of this, please definitely uh, share the link that I'm about to have in the description of this video because it's going to be very important. Um, people need to know about this, but um, it's not it, it, it's not easy, you know. It isn't. What people, what what us who are being hit with DEWs and who are, you know, with these weapon testings, that these illegal weapon testings that they're doing on on us, it's um, it's a very difficult thing to deal with because every step of the way they're trying to program us, every time, it's dangerous to even stay in the damn um apartment. You're not safe there because if you stay there, then you're gonna be even more high risk of programming than you would be on the outside. That's why you see so many psyops. That's why you see so much stuff happening because it's much harder to program a movable tar a moving target than it is a target that is sitting still. They gotta keep recalibrating stuff. They gotta keep moving moving it here, moving the beam there, moving the beam here. It's much more difficult for them that way. That's kind of like I, that's kind of one of the reasons why I was saying like I wanted to maybe if I ever got the money together maybe start a target individual caravan thing or whatever where we all just gather up together and um, we basically you know build a base or something and we all just detox the crap out of this stuff out of our systems. But honestly, um, if I ever meet up with any TI, this yeah this what's going on now this is what my plan is going out first. Getting off this, getting out of the city, getting off the grid first, detoxing all of this crap as best as I can, getting it all on my out of my system until I know for a fact it is shut down and it is not coming back on. Once I do that, then um, I don't know. I may decide to try to meet up with a few TIs, see maybe we can get together, maybe build a camp somewhere, something like that, build a, a small base, a base inland somewhere that is not in the city. Um, something like that, but right now, the most important thing for me to do is just to get out of the city because, um, get up, get out of there, get myself detoxed and cut it and literally turn this stuff off. I want to be able to tell so many people, but at the same time, when you're being gang stalked and harassed and psyop 24 seven, the best thing you can do is basically, um, and this is what I did. I wore that shirt that says Jesus loves you. That was one way I was still able to do it, but at the same time. I could speak out, but people, here's the deal. I've done that. I've done. I've lost count of how many places I've done that. I've mentioned these locate the chant ch the channel's names almost everywhere I go. I always mention those names, so people will still check see all that information there that they're missing out on. From time to time, I will tell people about what's going on, and you know something when that happens, when my will switches over to do that, I know for a fact that's the most high speaking to me. Telling me, you know, you got to tell them. You got to, um, you know, you got to speak up. You got to be able to be more open-minded about this. You got to be able to share this knowledge with so many people because there's so many people out there being led astray by the satanic organization and these greedy idiots out there who care nothing more than about the root of all evil as always. They only care about just making money and chances are they're programmed. They're programmed to where their greed has been, you know, their amounts of greed has been heightened, so they're willing to do any and everything 
that in their own damn power to basically make sure they get they, you know to make sure they get more of it. They can never get enough of that stuff. They can never get enough of money, and I believe that's just another form of psyopness that they basically use to program people. So I'm not finna ramble on too much. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this article for you guys. Remember the link to this will be in the description. Please share this information with your family, your friends. Spread the word out about this so people will wake up um, on what's going on. Now, in my case, now, from what I'm seeing, look, man, every, damn near almost everything in the store is already, it's already unedible. So, a lot of people say, well, like, well, what about the essentials and stuff like that? Man, as far as the essentials, like, um, let me tell you something, and this is like going way, this is almost like going commando, like old school commando. When it came to, like, uh, using the bathroom, people would actually use, um, they would have their own separate rag for something like that. And they would usually have a lake or something, basically, to detoxify it and also wash it out. So, there's one, that's one option right there when it comes to wiping yourself. So, you know, if it come, ever comes to toilet paper, here's, the, here's my problem with that. I still use toilet paper, but here's the thing, thing, main thing that's bothering me. They, I found an article saying that they have been putting nanoparticles in cotton they've been doing that so why would you, you maybe wonder well, why are you mentioning that now well it's simple because i found more articles leading to this stuff they put this stuff in almost every damn thing that is out there on the market nanofiber it, i feel bad for the ladies too because um if you've seen some of the stuff that i basically you know was researching you'll find out that they even put the nanoparticles in the fucking tampons no joke. They put nanofibers in fucking tampons. And the more and more I keep researching, the more and more it's just showing that they've been putting all of this crap in every single product you can see. You can find every, every bit, everything you can possibly think of. They've been putting all of that shit in there. Everything, man. The clothes, all of that stuff. Don't ever shop for no clothes at Walmart. Um, I guarantee you the, the fabric in there does have uh, nanofibers in it. Um, now, here's the deal from me actually having their clothes over a while, way back then. This is before I even knew about what was going on. Purchased some, a few shirts. Let's see, we're like almost over like around 30 minutes in. I can fit this. Uh, I can basically fit this a little bit in. I'm not going to do too much. Anyway, um, I bought some clothing for them. It was a few shirts, and, uh, you know, like, the fabric was really deteriorating a lot. And I remember buying a pair of pants one time, and uh, for some strange reason, it kept, uh, I had these pants for quite a while. And for some reason, like, these, uh, it was attracting these, uh, these wasps. I didn't know why. They kept eating, they kept rushing to it and eating off of it. Whatever it was on there, they kept going to it. Um, I never knew wasps to ever eat cotton, but in this case, you know, that's not cotton based, uh, clothing. And if it is cotton based clothing, clearly there's something else in there that they're, you know, that they're attracted to. So, um, it isn't just that. It's also so that several other things that I noticed when it comes to, when it came to investigating the clothing bit, found out they were putting, um, you know, chemical components like on their, that was oozing from their tags, the actual tags that's you know that hang off. So it turns out they were putting stuff in that, and then over time, as people would sweat, it would get in that tag, and the stuff that they had laced on the tag and its fibers would actually secrete out and go all over the skin. People use a uh, black light, and they were able to see all of that shit all over their body. Um, they now when people started to find out about this, Walmart's excuse was well. We have that in case people decide to steal our shit. Basically. That's basically their excuse. Not to mention the tags themselves were traceable. Those were track up those were trackable fucking tags, man. It's insane. And it makes you really wonder, like, why would they want something like that? And they come up with this bullshit excuse. No, I see why the fuck you want that out there. You got that because you're trying to fucking track people. And now that we see stuff unfolding now, it makes a whole lot of sense. But I'm not going to ramble on too much. Um, long story short, just be careful where you get your clothes from. Because I'm telling you, even now, they are already planning on putting a lot of this traceable technology in clothing. Even as I speak, they are planning on doing putting traceable technologies in your clothes. 
traceable technologies in the masks, all of that shit, man, all of that. Anyway, in short, your job is to reach your father's word, and you must be ready and willing to do so at all times, i.e. be instant in season and out of season. As such, you must always remain unmasked because your job in your earthly role as one of his faithful representatives is to speak and explain his word to others. And to do so, you must open your mouth. You cannot be muzzled. You cannot be masked. Wearing the mask is a powerful occult symbol indica in indicating your submission to another power other than the creator, God, who gave you the direct commission to preach his word to the world. Matthew 2 8 point point 18 Jesus came and spoke unto them saying all powers is given unto me in heaven and in earth Matthew 2 8 point point 19 go ye therefore and teach all nations baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost Matthew 2 8 point point 20 teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and, I, and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world I'm you see, that's a problem right there. That A, that A M E N thing. That's um, that's bringing up yet another thing related to. Uh, I'm not saying that word because um, a lot of you may not know about this, but you know you need to really research that word because it's dealing with Amun Ra. Amun Ra was a pharaoh and was a slave trader, basically a slave owner. Okay. Um, I read through Zacchaeus' notes, and that's where I found out where that word was coming from. So, if you didn't know, now you know. If you don't believe me, just do your research, and I, guarantee, I promise you, you will come to the same conclusion as long as you're willing to put the time and effort to find it. Um, a lot of that does tie into the whole Constantine, Constantine thing on how they were basically, um, you know... How they basically uh, infiltrated churches and stuff like that, and they were twisting stuff. A lot of and now I don't want to go too far into detail. You know, just research it for yourself. This is why I was telling people like you really, if you have faith in anything, you're gonna really want to do your research on that in and out. Don't take my word for it. Just do your own research on that. Um, so in God's heresy, you are a sovereign representative of His word in His uh, in this on this earth, and your job is to spread that word as to as many others as possible in the course of your adult lifetime. But in the heritage of the ritualists, it's quite the reverse. The entire point of occult ritual mass wearing is to hammer home to your subconsciousness until it becomes completely true in your daily life. The idea that things are no longer the same and will never be the same again. Mass hasten the suppression of ego to help facilitate the death of the old identity before the identification with and the manifestation of a new identity. It's yet another fucking thing that I've said before. When it comes to, uh, and this relates to what I was talking about, what they were doing in the schools. The psyop that they got going on in the schools for mind manipulation. This is why I've been saying peer pressure is not a normal thing. Peer pressure is basically a tactic that they use to basically try to get you to strip who you came in as. And basically uh, replace it with what they're trying to um, construct you into just to fit in. Quote unquote, fit in. Their demographic, what they believe is appropriate. It's got to be something that they approve of. It can't just be you just being yourself. If you just be yourself, they're going to fuck with you. They're going to tease you. They're going to taunt you. They're going to do all of this dirty shit. They're going to do all of this crap to basically get under your skin until you basically submit into their bullshit. I didn't fall for that. Neither should anybody else. But I'm so fortunate some, several people have fallen for that. Um, at the time, hanging around, I did, man, I was hanging around certain people who were like that, couldn't figure it out quite well, and it started making sense as I got older, and I started to see the reality of it. It's like they always had an issue with how you just were as you were, as you are, and it had to be, it's always, always been related to something about change this and change that, twist this and twist that. It's always been like that, man. And it's just like, what the fuck? Just leave people alone. Let them be the, who they are. But no, they can't do that. No. No, it's such a huge problem to them that you can't just be yourself. It's so much of a problem that you just can't be yourself that they want to program everybody. They want to basically do all of this shit to people and change just to change you, just to change things around. 
And now we got to deal with this shit trying to deprogram ourselves because of these arrogant assholes. Nobody signed up for this. Nobody did. Nobody wanted this shit. They just went ahead and did it anyway. And whenever it came to people trying to warn other people what, what happens to them, oh, they get labeled a conspiracy theorist. Oh, they get, they basically get so, no, no, you know, you're insane. You don't know what you're talking about. Nah, 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 that ain't true. Nah, nah, I don't believe it. It's like, man, what the hell, dude? So many people, so many truth seekers, so many uh, TIs have lost their lives trying to push, you know, the truth out there. That so many years have gone by of people pushing this damn truth for people to wake the fuck up. But they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't freaking do it. I want to try to overthrow the government to where they ain't doing this stuff, man. I do. I really do. I want people to. Uh, I want the people to basically, you know, rise up to where they take their freedoms back, to where they start issuing their own laws, not right, not in a rioting manner. No, I'm talking about doing this in the, um, in a more profound manner that basically constitutes to the Constitution to where we actually are doing what we can. But at the same time. Dude, the other, the, the, the people um, who are doing this to us, they have already violated the Constitution in more ways than one, and they don't care. They do not care. They don't. Um, I would love for this to be done peacefully, but, like, that is, it's not as much of a possibility as you think. They are going to let people do things that would be, you know, somewhat towards their freedom, but in reality, it's just to keep them on the same grid that's been poisoned and set up to be a control mechanism from the start. If there was ever a time that was safe to still stay on here, it was it was before they out they rolled out that technology uh, not too long ago. That was the only time that it was actually safe to stay on this grid. Even though they still had this crap out here to still try to program you. Now the situation's changed. Now it's way dangerous than it was before. Way dangerous. If you see some of the stuff they're trying to, you know, implement now, it's going to get ten times worse. Best believe it's going to get ten times worse. Not just in the cities, but the suburbs too. Everywhere. Um, I want to be able to, you know, do all of that, man. I want to be able to tell, and I'm going to continue telling so many people about this truth so they can wake up. But you know something? It, I just want to just make this one point across for people who are not TIs to understand. It is not easy for any of us to do what we do to try to provide truth. Every day we're constantly being laced under manipulation. And anything that happens as a result that's not that we would normally do due to that manipulation... They, the enemy uses that shit as an excuse to get more people out on their team to continue doing the dirty work. And they'll, you know, to put, long story short, they would basically mind manipulate a person to do something they wouldn't normally do. Then they would use that something that that person did as an excuse that that person was forced and manipulated into doing as an excuse for what they're doing. Then they would basically go over to the side telling other people this same shit to get them on their team. And these people don't even know the full fucking story. They don't know that these assholes are basically mind manipulating people from the start. They don't know that they're doing this shit to kids. They don't know that they're doing this shit to adults and everybody, especially elderly. They don't know that people are dying as a result from this. They don't know that. By the time they do realize it, they are given most likely a choice either back out and they got to leave. From what I've noticed... And what I've seen, they don't let people like that stay around. People who don't want to be a part of their group and who know what's going on. Simply for the simple fact that they don't trust them. That's just how fucked up this organization is. But uh, anyway, let's continue. It's initiation into a new order, but it's also a transformation of the self into a new position in the new order. Under the sway of the occult ritualism, you are being mouth-masked or... No longer the person you used to be. You are no longer a designated mouthpiece of God on this earth. You suddenly dem demoted and reassigned to the position of an obedient subject. Symbol symbolically, you become a serf in the new order. That's your new role. Your new identity is represented by wearing the mask. The wearing of the mask is simply part of the initiated ritual used to visually and psychologically signal your consent to this new arrangement. Yes, by wearing the mask, you are signaling consenting to accept a new and very different position in a new global order. 
Look, man, if I was accepting any of that shit, I would not be detoxing. I would not be making plans to leave. I would not be doing the stuff that I'm doing now to basically get out of here. Um, I would probably, and this is where it gets to the point that we're now I know why we're targeted. It's the reason why we're targeted because, you know, that's clearly a, high, a much higher reason that we're not aware of. Or at least weren't aware of, you know. It is our, you know, it is definitely our duty to basically spread out the truth. But at the same time, dude, the devil has twisted and changed it so much that you got to be careful of the religion. Even with the religion that you're even on, man. It is so damn wicked. It is. It really is. Anyway, um, instead of being a sovereign representative of the Most High God and His Word on this earth, in essence, you agree to become a willing subject, a slave to the very enemies of God and His Christ. Mass, you are now willing to serve in the enemy's purpose and no longer God's. When you obediently put the mask over your mouth, you are symbolically saying to the ritualist, I admit my words no longer have any purpose or relevance in this life. My sole purpose now is obedience to your words. Wow, that is fucked up. I couldn't even finish that. Uh, it is so fucked up. And in raising themselves to the position of a new sovereign and muzzling, you like a dog in the process. They alchemically, they alchemically create a new you in a new role under new rules. That's the chemical transformation changes involved in the ritual. Such as transhumanization that's going on. They're quite literally attempting to take the place of God in your life and make you their willing subject. They're becoming your instead of God, your antichrist. And by placing the mask on your face, you're becoming their unwitting, faithful servant. You're being ritually initiated into the new order. You may not realize it, but in occult magic, the victim doesn't have to be knowledgeable of the meaning behind what he or she is being told to do. Performance of the ritual itself on demand is all that matters. So who exactly is doing this to us? Number one, John 2.18. 2 Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. You didn't think these many Antichrists would sit around on their hands all day, doing nothing in the final days of this flesh earth age while they're waiting on the return of their father, the devil, in his role as the false messiah, did you? Naturally, they're softening things up for their God, Satan, before he gets here. They're using ceremonial occult ritual of magic on a global scale to capture the entire world in their dragnet. By wearing the mask, you are being symbolically and acclimatically transformed, reborn into a, their new global system through occult ritual programming. From the Encyclopedia Britannica on ritual mask wearing, the person who wears the mask is also considered to be an indirect association with the mask spirit force and is consequently exposed to the light personal danger of being affected by it. Upon donning the mask wearing, sometimes undergoes a psychic change and is in a trance, assuming the spirit character depicted by the mask. Um, well, folks, the Antichrist instead of Christ is the spirit force of the mask wearing talking about. You get that, don't you? He's the spirit behind the powers that be who are working to pull off this global coup. And it's the powers that be who have masked, muzzled, and demoted you to a new status of slave on the behalf of their god, the devil himself. The mask wearing ritual is designed to possess you with the spirit of the servants to your new overlords who are the many antichrists of John, of number one, John 2, uh, 18. And it sets you up to be to do the same when the Antichrist arrives, offers his actual mark, which will examine, such as the mark of the beast, the uh, vaccines that uh that they got set up, yeah, which we'll examine at the end of this commentary. If you don't think wearing the mask quite literally changes people, as the Encyclopedia Britannica states in a quote above, think about all of the masks. Karens you've seen online videos of widely chasing people who aren't wearing masks down the road, publicly battering them for not wearing masks and screaming at them that there's blood on their hands for not masking up like good little boys and girls. All, always should, here's one for example, in which the Karens are all big, burly, mask-wearing males quite literally shoving an elderly gentleman out of a store for not wearing a mask. Let's play this. Filming. Stop. Don't touch me. I'm filming. Sir, Don't touch me. I'm filming. Ask me. I have to leave. I have a doctor's note. 
Well, I don't have to wear one. I'll show you. It's it's not, it's not, I'll show outside. you. It's it's don't touch me. Outside. That's the second time you've touched me. Outside, please. Don't touch me. Sir, go, go no, he already put his hands on me. I want an officer here to press charges. Well, you go outside and wait. He already. Go outside on the sidewalk. I want to press charges on him. Go outside on the sidewalk. You can wait on him. Go outside. Go on. Outside. Out on the sidewalk. Look at this. You see what this is? This is where we live. We live in America. Where if you have a you you have a note to not wear a mask. Look at this. You see this bullshit? You see this? You see this? Get off of me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! You put your hands on me again, I'll sue you. Now you're gonna be charged. He put his hands on me and I got him off of me. It's on film. Fucking scum. This is where we live, America, guys. Look at this. Unbelievable. I don't mean to stop it, but if only people knew half the, you know, the crap that's in all that food they're shopping for, if only they knew. Man. That's one of the reasons why they still go back to the stores. If I'm ever going into a store, I may at least show that, you know, this shit is, this whole thing is bullshit in some way. I am going to show that. Um, I ha and I have done it several times. I have done that several times. Um, hang on, let's play the rest. Wow, he is still Yeah, make following. sure you pick, yeah, pick me up by the target. He's near. I'm not even surprised they would be that aggressive in an area like that. All TIs know that these perps always shop at a Target store. We already know this for a fact. Yeah. It's on film. I don't think so. I filmed it. I filmed it. Just so you know, I filmed it. He came to me and I pushed him off of me. Remember, people, gang stalkers work, basically shop and work at Target stores. Now, there's always the chance that some of them may, you know, some people may work there or shop there who are not aware of what gang stalking is. But when you are dealing with anybody near that situation, don't be surprised if they basically will lie. Do not be surprised if they basically will try to tell a tale, and you know, very farther from the truth. It's just out of a desperate attempt to try to make it out of an example out of you, just because they're still just you know they're faithful to the satanic bullshit. Don't be surprised that these individuals would do this. Don't be surprised. This is why I have camera glasses, people. Uh, Situation definitely changed up as soon as I got those damn things. I tell you that much. Oh, I am gonna follow my report. I'm already on the phone with him. Well, there you go. Um, here's the thing about the stores. It's not even worth. It really isn't worth even going there at this point. Half, if not all, the food has been poisoned, and now it's even it's worse than you think. They're spraying uh shit on the food too. Yeah, even food that doesn't have that shit in it, like those uh, that all that crap that in it that you should not be eating, they still I've no uh, they have been shown to be spraying these compounds on food, man. Food that's in containers, all of that shit, even your shopping carts. So if it's not getting on, if they're not spraying it directly on the food, you best believe they're spraying it in, on the shopping carts. Because I know, because well I've seen the container outside the in a nearby store. They're spraying that shit out. Excuse me, one way or another. And it just so happens to be that there were deadly chemicals found in some of these uh, these products that's meant for sanitization. Yeah, deadly compounds. So are they really trying to protect you or are they just trying to do a mass murder? Because it seems like it's a mass murder to me. I don't promote lies. I do not promote deceit. I promote the truth and nothing but that. Let's continue. 
Through wearing of the mask, the occult ritualists have created an army of Karens program autom automatons who take the ritual so seriously that they feel personally and physically threatened when you don't and they don't mind telling you so often vigorously. The Encyclopedia Botanica goes on to say about the mask ritual. Usually, however, the wearer skillfully becomes a partner of the character he is impersonating, giving to the mask not only an important spark of the vitality by the light flash from his own eyes, but also bringing it alive by his movement and poses. In other words, in the end, the mask becomes part of the very identity of those who wear it. The occult transition becomes complete. The new you is born from the ritual. Um, but often the wearer of the mask seems to become psychologically one of the character he is helping to create. He seems to become an automated without his own will, which has become subservient to that of the person of the mask. You might want to think about those dozens of online videos showing fully masked hospitals, nurses, and hospital workers per particip participating um, in elaborate choreographic uh, TikTok dance videos while so simultaneously thousands of helpless, hapless corona uh, but C virus victims are supposedly dying cruel deaths and being stacked up like cord wood in those very same hospitals. Yes, a veritable mass dance of death, just like you see in the movies. And we all know who Mr. Death is, don't we? Revelation 6.8. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And a hill followed with him. And the power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword and with the hanger, hunger. And that's pretty much one thing they have been doing. They basically set it up to where, um, you know, they got the food in the stores. So they started going after the stores to basically to try to, you know, force you in a subservient manner to their ritualistic bullshit. You, you get it now? They go after the essentials to fuck with you. Stuff that you would need. And little, and for this is for the people who don't know. You don't know that half that food, and not, if not all that food, is no good for you. That's in those supermarkets. The vegetables, GMO, genetically modified crops. Even if it has seeds in it too, guess what? They've been spraying the skies, so the shit gets into the food. That's you know, that's like that. Unless you grow your own shit in a greenhouse, it's going to be infected with GMOs. That's just the down. That's just the blunt truth about it. Unless you uh, get your food directly from someone who doesn't, you know, is not paid off for their bullshit, you're not getting good food. It has to be in a greenhouse, and they cannot be spraying it with those chemicals either. That's the only way you're going to be able to get any type of good vegetables and good fruits. If you buy anything, um, just like Tony said uh, in his videos on his channel, most of you know who Tony is. Um, if you see what he's talking about, like all the fruit is completely saturated with that shit. Um, the vegetables is a way to get it out of there, but you got to grind the food down in order to try to separate it. Then you got to mix it with something in order to help separate it. It basically brings all the nanoparticles um, to one particular, I believe it's like the bottom part of the jug. And then you'll be able to easily get the actual nutrition out of that shit. Um... Same thing with the meats. They've already admitted to vaccinating meats. They put these dangerous chemicals in those things, and then these animals are killed in the most unhumane ways you could possibly think of. The most unethical ways you would not even be able to imagine. So it makes you wonder when people go out and hunt, why they kill their li why they kill the livestock fast? Why do they why do you think they always kill it off as fast and painless as possible? Meaning it's just a one quick kill. The animal doesn't feel no pain. The death is instantaneously. Why do you think they do that? I'm not going to give you the answer to that. Because people should be able to, you know, come up with as the reason to that is why on their own. Veganism is part of the problem, too. Um, it's not that anything wrong with, you know, you, it's nothing wrong with eating vegetables. But with the situation that's going on, you can't be promoting saying, you know, don't just eat this, don't eat that. You got to just eat nothing but vegetables and this, that, and the other thing, man. You can't do that because, first off, you're trying to, you may be promoting GMO, genetically modified crops, and you don't know about it. That's signifying people to be, basically eat shit that it will assimilate into your body to basically program you. That's the harsh truth for that. Um, Revelation, and he looked, behold, pale horse in his name, death and hell follow. Yeah, I've already read that. 
What's more, by adding a dance to the mask wearing, the new slaves show their willingness to entertain their captors to become little more than flesh play sports to them. Just as the Babylonian soldiers of old tried to force the Israeli captives and to entertain them with the music. And it's written, Pislam 137.1. By the rivers of the Babylon. Also, um, I don't, I don't eat meat specifically anymore because of what the shit they've been doing in there. Um... If you probably if you drink milk, you probably definitely want to start reading up on the shit they've been putting in there too. Here's the deal, and uh, this is just a, a straight art. This is just a complete straight answer for that. Look, human females produce milk, right? Right. Same as uh, another animal produces milk for its young, right? Let me ask you: Do you really think a milk from another animal that was not meant for humans' consumption? It was it was milk meant for its own offspring because what, what do you always see when a when a baby of that particular animal is born? They drink that milk, right? So which milk do you think is actually more um, healthy for a baby? Think about it. You sure? It's, you think it's uh, you know? Do you think it's that formula? Do you think do you really trust that formula shit? What they've been putting this stuff in these uh, in these uh, compounds and stuff? Let me tell you something. I don't know too much about that formula, but I intend to do some on. Go and research with that too, because I bet you they've been putting shit in there too. If they've been putting all of this crap and all of this food and all of these things like this, man, chances are baby formula, baby, uh, you know, that Gerber shit, all of that stuff is all been fucked with in some way or another. And I'm sorry for my language, but that's just how effed up this is. That is so unfair and unethical that it is, there's no excuse for that. That's programming a, ba a baby before they even have it, before they even get their sense of independence, before they even they, they don't even have a damn choice. They're defenseless. They have absolutely no characteristics to make a choice for themselves. They don't. And yet all of this shit is going into the food and everything to basically re just program people. And, pe and these idiots are just so subservient to this bullshit. It's crazy. It is. Let's continue, shall we? Um, we hanged our harps upon the willows in the mist, therefore, Pislan 3137.3. For there they that carried us away, captive, required of us a song. And they, now I have not used TikTok ever since it even came out. And I don't intend to fuck with that app. Let me tell you something. Um, when you flash the colors red and blue really fast, that signifies a uh, heart attack. As supposed to, you know, they got to be in the same place flashing now. And you better not catch nobody doing that shit in public because um, I don't give a fuck what you, there's no excuse. Your ass is in trouble if you caught doing some shit like that, period. Considering what that does. Because that's a threat to, when someone does that shit, that's a threat to everybody. That's a threat to every fucking body. Especially people who are susceptible to heart attacks. What, are you trying to cause a freaking accident? You trying to cause an accident when you do that shit? Because that in line, that actually opens the, a door for conversation. And no, they cannot sigh up you with that. They can't. And they can't say they didn't know either because who the fuck, there's no way nobody just randomly flashes that shit. No. Hell no. Anyway, so Pislam 137.3 for they. For there are they that carried us away, captive required of us a song, and they that wasted on us required of us mirth, saying, Sing us one of the song of Zion, Pislam. He, how shall we, oh no, that's a 137.4. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? As you can see, the Israelis of old ref, refused to entertain their captors, ref, refused to provide their requested mirth asking amongst themselves how can we sing the lord's song in a strange land and you can't this is what i've been saying from the start don't pay no attention to these damn gang stalkers ti's don't pay them no mind don't give a fuck about anything that what they're doing pay them no mind no ignore them everything that they're doing is in terms to basically psy up you and to brainwash you that's what the whole point of it is for. From the noise harassment 
from the color harassment, from all of the stuff that they do, the vocal, you know, the vocal harassment, all of that stuff. Pay them no mind. The more and more you start to basically block that shit out, you start to realize that you are becoming yourself, your true self. And not what they're trying to basically convert you into. Okay, let's continue. But unlike the time of the Babylon captive, today's coup against God's people and today's ongoing overthrow, therefore, so, therefore is so far being accomplished without conventional warfare. So the people by the large don't even realize the depth and severity of the attempt to coup against them because it's being accomplished almost solely through the occult ritual deception. Which is why God's word warns us that there will be times we can't even trust our own neighbors, as it as it's written. Take ye heed, or even every one of his neighbor, and trust ye not in any brothers, for every for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slanders. Jeremiah 9.5 And they will deceive every one of his neighbor and will not speak the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies and worry themselves to commit iniquity. T.I.s, remember the video I told you about and I showed you? Don't ever forget what the word the workers of iniquity means. The workers of iniquity are gang stalkers. The workers of iniquity are Karens. The workers of iniquity are the people pushing for the masks. The workers of iniquity are the Satanists. The workers of iniquity are the Masonic Masons. The workers of iniquity are the corruptive um, elites that wish to basically lead us straight through Hell's Gates. Now, it looks like I'm running out of space on this thing, so this will be the last part that I'm going to read. Remember, there will be a... Uh, in fact, no, I'm going to probably stop it now. Because uh, I want to be able to upload all of this so for you all. So anyway, remember, the link is going to be the description. As always, stay safe, stay strong.